Hey guys, this is my third video in my series on whether or not there are negative side effects from using aluminum oxide at or silicon carbide abrasives on high hardness, high vanadium content steels. Uh, this time I'm going to be testing a Sigma Power Select 2 3000 grit silicon carbide waterstone. Mm. And so I'm going to start by flattening the stone because I prefer to flatten my water stones immediately prior to each use. And I'm using an Atomo 140 diamond plate to do that. I also realized that I don't have to put the diamond plate in the stone holder. I can just put the stone itself on a flat surface and then I can hold the diamond plate and therefore make sure I leave as much of that nice slurry that I create in doing this on the stone as possible when I start. In another of my videos I claim that you shouldn't put hold the diamond plate and rub it on the stone. I only realized afterwards that it was because I was trying to do that with the stone already in the stone holder and it was the wobbling of the rubber that was causing the diamond plate not to create a true surface. Anyway, this uh, Spyderco Mule Team in Maximet at about 68 Rockwell has a freehand edge bevel of about 15 degrees per side. And it's already had its edge bevel uh, shaped on a Sigma Power Select 2 1000. So now I'm just going to raise the level of polish to that of this stone. And then I'm going to start the test. Okay, so now that we're done shaping the edge bevel on this stone, I'm going to need to shear off uh, the microburr, and that doesn't really work very well on water stones. So I'm going to use this Spyderco Medium, which is an alumina. Technically, it's made out of aluminum oxide, but it's sintered into solid alumina ceramic. So it's basically like, um, sort of like a tile. But in any case, it's in keeping with the theme and I'm just going to use it very lightly make two very light high angle passes per side to shear off whatever micro burr was present and I'm going to rinse off the slurry from the stone because I want to minimize its influence at this point. Now, as I mentioned, um, it's not necessarily easy to get a uh, knife to push cut newsprint across the grain at 90 degrees off of a water stone, particularly off of a 3000 grit water stone. So we may have to use uh, slicing newsprint or push cutting with the grain as uh, our sharpness test for this test with this particular stone.
So you may ask, why don't you use edge trailing strokes? Well, that actually has a pretty high chance of creating a microburr. And also, it doesn't really work together well with shearing off a burr using high angle passes because that depends on using edge leading strokes to break off the burr that's been weakened and then broken by the tiny micro bubble created with the high angle passes. So, So we'll check where we're at now, as far as that goes. If I can find any newsprint kicking around here. So. We have, that's not bad, actually. It's not perfect, but it is doing cross-grain push cuts. And it's easily, doing with the grain push cuts, which is all we really need for the purposes of this test. Okay. Now then. So, this is newsprint is set up to test by doing with the grain push cuts. So, we can see that it's doing with the grain push cuts quite easily. So now, let's see what it does. Oh, hold on. Let me move this out of the way. Probably don't want to get wood shavings all over my water stone. some scalloping cuts. Seems okay so far. switch to the next piece of pine for the next test, I think. Okay.
as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem like the initial sharpness of the Sigma Power Select 2 3000 grit finish on the Maximet Mule has dropped at all. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to switch to the other piece of pine because this has just about had it. Okay, maybe we'll do a little cardboard cutting then. Now this will probably lower the uh, sharpness, but how much is the question? Hmm. A little bit. Alright, a little bit more. Maybe starting to see a little bit of, well, no, I think that was mostly just not lining up the scratch pattern with the, no, that still seems fine to me. Well, I don't want to use this entire piece of cardboard, but I'll make a couple more cuts. print again but I've got something here I can use nope still seems okay so the initial sharpness taken appeared to be consistent with what I would expect off of that uh, 3000 grit water stone and the apex strength appeared to be fine making a mess out of this piece of pine and cutting all these strips of cardboard barely noticeably lowered the initial sharpness so the high sharpness edge retention appears to be fine so I really don't know what to tell you. As far as I can tell, I would not have expected a... And let's say this steel was equally hard but had no vanadium in it. Uh, in this particular test, I would not have expected any results any different than this. So, we'll have to see what happens off the King 4000, and I'm saving the Spyderco uh, Medium for the last one, because it's going to be the one that's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the DMT Extra Extra Fine in terms of doing cross-grain push cuts.